Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the Yamatron trim with blue? Weighted at 18 stone and 4 pounds. Undefeated. 21 contests. 21 wins. 12 inside the scheduled distance. He comes to the ring as the undefeated IBO Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion from Inverness, Scotland, where he is known as the Highlander, Gary Pauling. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black shorts, Weighing in at 17 stone, 11 pounds, 3 ounces, with a perfect professional record of 13 contests, 13 wins, 13 inside the scheduled distance. Comes to the ring as a two-time ABA champion and the winner of the Olympic gold medal in the heavyweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the reigning and defending WBC International Heavyweight Champion for Watford, England. It's AJ Anthony Joshua. Time the waiting's over. Here we go. Twelve rounds of boxing for the vacant Commonwealth and the WBC. Okay, boys, had instructions in the restroom. Remember, pay my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all times. Touch clubs. Let's do it. Victor Lockwood absolutely dwarfed by these two big beasts. 25 stone of power in that ring. The one thing everybody is agreed upon. Three scoring judges, six weeks off by his company to prepare for this. He's had a good camp in Inverness. They brought in the French reports out of the camp world, and it went very well indeed. But that was training camp. This is the real thing. An opponent who has ambitions of his own, whose career is on the way up and not on the way down. Bobby oh, there, Joshua with a straight right hand. Ah. Joshua looking very sharp. Here he nails it with a right hand inside the first minute. Cornish down, looking at his corner on one knee. It's the power, but it's the speed of it. He get caught with a solid jab just before the right hand, and that set him up for it. And the legs have turned to rubber. Joshua biding his time, and then unloading it, looking unsteady. Joshua looking to measure him up. Could this be gone in the first? He's caught him with another right hand. And now the technique that Joshua is showing at the moment is terrific. You wouldn't believe only a dozen fights. turned into his quickest win. Joshua, well, a blistering to, performance. You have to say that any heavyweight that's caught clean by Joshua I say it has tremendous natural punching power and his development has been outstanding. So is the power. But I just think the way he's developing is really tremendous. Well, never it's was nice. able to recover. See, he took the, the left hand there, which you could oh, see, he felt that one. And then... Bang! Overcame the right hand. Full credit to Cornish getting up from that to put him on the floor. He showed bags of courage. He got up again after the second knockdown, but there was no point. And now that Joshua has, he doesn't have to win. up. Everything just seems to flow from him. Perfect balance, perfect delivery, and the perfect finish. So full credit, as I say, to Cornish. He got back up off the floor, tried to get himself back into the fight, but every time Joshua right hand, it was knocking him onto his heels. I mean, look at the power and, and the jab there. Trying just to, to survive the crisis. His legs were unsteady, and there was no point allowing it to continue. The, the writing was on the wall by that time. Yeah, really, Joshua, truly frightening. The critics will say, yeah, he's not faced anyone yet, and they'll say that again. But for old Gary Cornish, this was a massive night for him, and he was just blown away in 90 seconds. And you just wonder how many heavyweights in the world right now would you put ahead? Cornish in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner, and the new Commonwealth, and...
and still the WBC International Heavyweight Champion from Watford, England, AJ Anthony Joshua! Mauro Betty presents the WBC title belt. And Mick Collier from the Boxing Board of Control presents the Commonwealth. Ladies and gentlemen, we present... Here at the O2, we've just witnessed as Anthony Joshua continue with exciting assault on the heavyweight division, blitzing Gary Cornish in the first round to claim his first major title and set up a mouth-watering clash with old amateur rival Dillian White. Let's get Joshua's thoughts. He's with Ed. Well, Anthony, congratulations. That was supposed to be your toughest test today. In the end, it was your quickest win. Did that all go perfectly to plan for you? Most definitely. There's no extra time, but credit to Gary where credit is due big man, had a solid jab, so I made sure I dealt with that early on and I didn't rush anything. It's a 12-round fight, so I weren't trying to dish it all out in the first round, but I managed to catch him with some shots that were painful and get the job done. The onslaught all started with that perfect counter right hand. Correct, that's what I mean. So he was throwing a long, heavy, solid jab, so I just tried to slip on the outside of it and not start eating the jabs early on. And as I managed to land the right hand, it was a perfect connection and uh, he, he went tumbling down. And then he jumped on him straight away. That's what you got to do, you know, because if I leave it, start taking my time, it could be me on the end of them blows uh, five rounds later or so. The pressure is on you. There's a lot of publicity and a massive entrance this evening. But what about the reception you got here at the O2? Listen, it's unbelievable, man. Like, this is what you do it for. I'm locked away. When I'm not fighting, I live a simple Anthony, lifestyle. congratulations. That was supposed to be your toughest test today. In the end, it was your quickest win. Did that all go perfectly to plan for you? Most definitely. There's no extra time, but credit to Gary, where credit is due. Big man, had a solid jab, so I made sure I dealt with that early on, and I didn't rush anything. It's a 12-round fight, so I weren't trying to dish it all out in the first round, but I managed to catch him with some shots that were painful and get the job done. The onslaught all started with that perfect counter right hand. Correct. That's what I mean. So he was throwing a long, heavy, solid jab, so I just tried to slip on the outside of it and not start eating the jabs early on. And as I managed to land the right hand, it was a perfect connection and uh, he, he went tumbling down. And then he jumped on him straight away. That's what you got to do, you know, because if I leave it, start taking my time, it could be me on the end of them blows uh, five rounds later or so. The pressure is on you. There's a lot of publicity and a massive entrance this evening. But what about the reception you got here at the O2? Listen, it's unbelievable, man. Like, this is what you do it for. I'm locked away. When I'm not fighting, I live a simple lifestyle. I'm in the gym. I ride my motorbikes when I can and play a bit of PlayStation. And besides that, I come out here and I get to display in front of all these wonderful people what we've been working on in the gym. So thank you for everyone. Dylan White, your amateur rival at ringside. Did you get a chance to see his fight earlier? I didn't get to watch it. I was warming up, focusing on my bout. But I heard he got the win. So December 12th seems to definitely be on. Do you have a message for him at ringside? I'm just glad that he got the W, really, because it should have been us tonight. We were scheduled to fight September 12th, but he wanted a bit more time, so so be it. December 12th, the date's set, and uh, what's he? International silver champ, I'm Commonwealth champ, and we'll both fight for the British and move on from there. He beat you, it was a long time ago. I'm sure you want to put the record straight. Is there any relevance in that amateur win? Oh, of course, of course, it's so relevant, so relevant. He's 1-0, you know, it's my chance to get it back even the score. And uh, this is the beautiful thing about boxing. We've got so many weeks now to get strong, get fit, get our mind in the right place. And we'll be back here at the O2 to dust up again in front of all these wonderful people. That's a word with promoter Eddie Hearn. Is that definitely the plan now? December 12th, signed and sealed? 100% that's signed. Uh, Anthony Joshua fight Dylan White for the British and Commonwealth titles here on December the 12th. It's a great fight, you know, two undefeated fights. First of all, respect to Gary Cornish. You know, he's 21 and 0. He didn't have to take that fight tonight. Not enough undefeated fighters step up. There's another man down there that's willing to do it. This fight's going to excite a lot of people. A lot of people. It's two very, very talented heavyweights stepping up for the British and Commonwealth. We're going to end the year with something very special here at the O2. Anthony, Commonwealth champion this evening, but you must be very excited about the chance to win the British belt, the traditional route. Well, when I first turned pro, you know, it was a bit of a, it was a massive decision, and I finally got there. And when I sat down.